going on, guys? Rob Peasel back with your North Division, North Division, um, North Division roundup. Uh, Joe, just, just give me one sec. Just do my video here. Do it every week. Uh, North Division. Okay, finally. Now that Joe Thornton got that out of his system, let's begin this video the way we do each and every week by taking a look at the standings and for crying out loud. Okay, finally. There are the standings. And with the season winding down, this week we had our first Canadian team book a ticket to the dance. Now it happened Wednesday night when Austin Matthews scored this beauty. 35th goal of the season, 10th game winning goal of the year as the Leafs beat the Habs 4-1 and officially clinched a playoff spot. Now with the Jets and Oilers currently jockeying for second and third place, the question is, if the Leafs could hang on to clinch the division, who would they face? Well, if the playoffs started today, it would be the matchup we haven't seen in 42 years. The Leafs versus the Habs. They've been first and fourth since February the 12th. But it's the Calgary Flames who are doing their best to make this thing interesting. They took two of three against those very Habs this week and capped it off with a win in Edmonton. Now, as far as the Canucks go, with all those games in hand, they had a glimmer of hope last week, but back-to-back -back losses to Ottawa and they actually dropped into last place in the division. Okay, it seems like every single week on these videos, I'm showing you some sort of highlight reel goal or assist from Connor McDavid. But this week, I wanna talk a little bit about numbers. When this 56 game season started, no one thought we'd be this late into the season and talking about the possibility of McDavid hitting 100 points. And if they tell you that they were, they're lying to you. McDavid had four consecutive games this week with three or more points. Okay, I always think looking at a player's pace can be a pretty dangerous thing because there are so many other factors that come into play. But I will say this, if Connor McDavid can continue to play like Connor McDavid, he's going to hit 100 points for the third time in his career, again, in a 56 game season. All right, switching gears here a bit, three teams are going to be missing a player for a significant amount of time. The Jets announced that Nick Ehlers will miss the rest of the regular season. Now, they couldn't confirm that this was the hit that did it, but he did go to the dressing room right after, and Ehlers was having a great year. 21 goals, 25 assists in 47 games. The Flames are going to be without defenseman Noah Hannafin because he needs season-ending shoulder surgery after falling awkwardly on this hit on Corey Perry, and that is a huge loss to their blue line. And the Habs announced that Jonathan Drouin will be taking an indefinite leave of absence and has been placed on LTIR for what they're calling personal reasons. Okay, a couple things before we take a look at the weekend. Habs fans got their first look at their top prospect, Cole Caulfield, this week. He got the obligatory rookie lap in his first game and in his second game, found out that even the refs can hit in the NHL. Jumbo Joe hit a milestone this week when he picked up career assist number 1100, which now puts him seventh on the all-time list. And yeah, the six guys above him were all pretty awesome. And take a look at the weekend. The Habs have back-to-back -back games against the Jets and the Sens, while the Flames are going to try to inch closer as they take on McDavid and the Oilers in Edmonton. Enjoy the games. We'll see you next week.